just got through moving, found a few of these guys. We're going to do something about them. Howdy, howdy. This is Claire Lawrence. All right, I'm going to try and do a voiceover. My son and I just got through doing a little mini water fight. At any rate, <laughs> back to the art. I have discovered a bunch of artwork while we were in the process of moving. Um, some of the pieces needed a lot more work to them. Some of the pieces, well, they just needed to be retired. These were some that needed a little bit more love. Um... It looks like they were just samples that I had done to show how ink moves around. So not a lot of refined work to the pieces. So I just wanted to add a little bit of extra. And it was a good way to start playing around with the opal. Uh, <laughs> well, round two of the water fight just commenced. Okay, now to keep composure and try to do this voiceover again. Anyway. Uh, this allows me the opportunity to play with opal and some new colors, which is really neat. Um, I'm enjoying opal a lot, and that's by Pinata. It has some properties that are similar to like Malibu uh, Rainbow, and meaning the really fine, fine, almost glitter-like movement and such. Um, lot, very similar to Rainbow where it does grab onto the board and doesn't move a whole lot after it is dried. However, you can get it to move a little bit and blend it out, which is really, really nice, as you probably just saw in that little green area there. However, I have noticed something else that's really cool, and you're going to see a little bit later in this video. When you're applying it with a brush, like um, I'll put a little bit into a cup and dip a brush into the cup, I always swish it around just before applying the opal because those particles are very, very loose. That way you can grab the particles just before applying them. It really does add for building up texture as well as certain placement on the wow factor with the glitter and stuff. Now what is really cool about it is it does come across like it's kind of in the pink, purpley, maybe even blue family. However, it does, when you put color on top of it, does seem to uh, include that color into the glitter. So I'm using it on this particular piece here, which is almost all blues. And just adding that little swash of color in there uh, with the opal brings in a lot of pink hues to it. But when the blue goes over it, it definitely takes over and colors that, that glitter best way I can describe it. So I'm really enjoying playing with this. I would recommend it highly to add to your collection of colors because again, it'll play with your other colors rather well. Um, and this piece here, I just intentionally wanted to put a blanket of color on the background and then go and dip the brush into, I would apply the opal straight out of the cup. Now, I would start, like I would dip it in, start at the end of the canvas, move my way towards the middle of the canvas, and then start again towards the middle of the canvas, move my way back out of the canvas. So that way I'm making sure that I apply opal to different areas. And you'll see me start in the middle of the little swirls and midpoints and such like that. So that way it's getting each and every little bit because it's picking up uh, the particles, it's picking up the solution that the particles are, are loose in, uh, and it's also picking up little bits of alcohol. So I want to make sure that I'm getting those little particles that are creating that little, you know, shimmery, iridescent type of look to the piece. So it's really fun, especially if you're only, let's just say you'd like to do alcohol ink and you only mess around with the little dots. That could be fun by using this technique because you can get that little bit of uh, shimmery bits, especially like uh, galaxy pieces where you want to add a little white, but you don't want to add too much white. This may be a way of doing that where maybe you mix in a little bit of the opal with some white. You get that sparkle that you want from a, you know, a faraway star and, and such. I seem to be saying in such a lot. Sorry about that. 
All right, so this particular piece here wasn't real exciting in the beginning. Um, I wanted to add some drama to it, so I usually tend to beef up my heavier tones or sometimes even going in a completely different direction that the color was on this piece originally because it was softer tones that almost looked like they were faded out a bit and so I just brought in some intense colors and shifted it and it almost gave it a rainbowy kind of spread there. So here are the results of all the pieces. I'm going to pan around a bit so you can see how they dried up. Here I was able to get a nice blend out of the opals, but also play with the blues and the sapphire blue. I think there's a little bit of the aqua in there as well. Very pretty. And then the oranges and the uh, warmer colors are from the original canvas. So that'll be really, really pretty when this thing is finished. Meaning as far as like varnishing it or resining it. Here I just played with um, aqua and sapphire blue make some really, really pretty peacock colors or mermaid colors, if you want to call it that. And this one, just playing with the deep blues. I think I even in, uh, put in a little bit of eggplant in this one. Definitely sapphire blue. This one, the original piece had a little bit of silver in there with a, the faded blue in the background, so that's showing through um, with the resin. And then the final piece was the overall with the, oh, what is it, Senora Magenta and the Coral, and one of the purples, I'm not sure which, oh, no, I think it was Blue Violet, make for a gorgeous blend of warm tones. And it didn't take much for that to really look phenomenal. All right, here's all the glorious colors I used. Yeah, you never know sometimes when you add a color to something existing, what kind of other bonus colors will come out of it. So don't be afraid to try some different color combinations. All right, these are much improved. Just adding a little bit of color, bringing out some layers, and a little bit of sparkle can bring a piece to the next level. All right, I guess I better varnish these guys up. All right, later, y'all.